So I'm going to show just a couple of more let's say, like, methods let's say, like, with the juk one, let's say, like, based on the, the ideas like, and concepts and um, techniques that um, Wang Yu like, shared with me like, when he was teaching me some of his fat chan and wing chan. Um, the smaller let's say, like, ring, um, it is a lot more kind of conducive like, to kind of like, working let's say, like, chi so. Um, the two kind of positions like Wang showed me you can actually like work with either on the inside this way so one hand is a tan sao bong sao and as it rolls over this is a kind of let's say like a, a kind of a fuk, a higher fuk sao and the other hand let's say like underneath like is a tan sao so this kind of focuses on like a really kind of close let's say like a switches like with the hand so if we're moving between those so tan sao bong sao here tan sao fuk sao no tan sao so you're kind of going between these particular motions kind of searching hands so if I'm doing it like from the side so from here this is the kind of the high like a fuk sao or if you're doing it let's say like a stationary okay now you can let's say, like you start like you're doing kind of crossover hands this way, which kind of leads into some of the other like your techniques like oh which is kind of unique like with the fats on like a wing chun. There's a lot of unique like ways of kind of playing like the the chi sao like compared to some of the Hong Kong like your lines I've seen. So you can start like you're doing kind of almost crossovers this way. Allow the hands to flop. That allows you, let's say, like, if you're kind of like you're thinking about, let's say, like the bridge hand, the, the technique like behind this is if you're kind of cu coming over this way, that allows you to kind of come out underneath, catch, come over, and come over, let's say, like you would like a fan sao, either like with the open hand or like with the fist. That allows you then basically to kind of go up the center after doing like that particular maneuver. So let's say from here, you've done, let's say, like that kind of roll over, you bring the other hand up. O up and over, turning around, fan sao, and then basically that like you're kind of plowing down, let's say, like with the center. So, I mean, ideally, what's happening, let's say, like if you were thinking about like this is the person's like your hand, the underneath hand like is kind of coming around this way, clearing it out, the other hand like it turns over, suppresses. And that leads, let's say, like oh, all of this area, like oh, here, like oh, pretty much, like oh, jammed up. I mean, it's it'd be very hard, let's say, like oh, for a person to actually throw something substantial, like oh, from here, if they're already off balance. So, like that particular, like your oh, maneuver, like you're oh, here, let's say, from once you've kind of like you're oh, kind of walked around here, this, it's kind of clearing out, coming over, coming down, and coming back in, like oh, once again. So if you're kind of like you're doing the kind of the rolling like your chi sao where it kind of rolls over this way here. This kind of coming out, clearing, coming in fan sao and then powering up let's say like other center, let's say like you're to actually hit the person's like your jaw. You've already kind of either jammed let's say like your other hand let's and suppressed it like you here and you're kind of this acts as a trap, but it also kind of also deals like with just in case like they do kind of whip around like or turn around like or really quick, you're able to kind of catch something like with the other hand. So those particular like ideas where you're kind of coming over completely to this like a position. This can also be let's say, like you use let's say, like as bong da, which is a really really interesting like your technique if you're able to kind of pull it off. It's kind of it's re it's advanced i would say it's like oh, if you've kind of gotten to kind of like a quite a decent le level of skill like with wing chun like if you're able to pull this off like you're you're kind of quite accomplished but basically bong da like if you're kind of moving like with these like you're through the like with the chi sao it's basically a bong sao and you basically like you come on the underneath let's say like you to actually like you hit the person's like your um exposed like your rib really quickly um usually people don't see this particular like your strike but I mean like you're from here, like you're the kind of the follow-ons, like you're kind of coming over, like you're to here, fan sao, like or like a lap sao, double like a pull pulling hand to actually take the guy's hand out of the way. And then you have gan sao to, to ganda, like with this particular maneuver, like it's a suppressed or gum. gum. So 
just to kind of a little thing around like you know, the, the phrasing like you know um like your know, gun sow is a kind of like you're know, kind of a clearing hand like you're know, moving forward like you're know, getting it out of the way gum sow is a suppressing hand where you're actually pushing like you know, the the hand the hand of the opponent like you know, into the body you're basically trapping it against their body so they can't actually move it um fan sow once again is an overturning Bong Sao, let's say, like it was the wing arm block, which there's multiple like of variations like of like in the Wing Chun like your school. Each even each like your teacher have their own method like and kind of like your approach like your, to, to seeing what works like from their methodology. Um, but as I said, like your, that particular like your, going back like your, to Bong Da, if you're rolling through here, that particular like a maneuver, like if if you're able to pull that off and you're able to hit like with some power underneath the ribs, you're doing like quite well. If you're going around to the other side. That's bong da like on the other side. As you can kind of see, I'm a little bit stronger. Let's say like with my right hand, like you're doing this particular um, strike, obviously being right-handed. But like doing those kind of rolls from here, bong da, rolling like once again. Here, once again, bong da. From here, let's say like if you're doing like with the chi sao rolling on a juk one, you don't have a partner, you're at home. You can start like playing things, tanda, back to the center once again, other side, tanda, back to the center, other side, tan jun, so you have like a, a palm strike, back to the center once again, tan jun, back to the center once again. This time you could do it with a phoenix eye, let's like your fist, this, fung nong chai, um, so here. Fung Long Choi, Fung Long Choi. Um, then you can start like you're doing Bu Sao, which is the darting fingers. This. Now, one thing about Bu Sao is you want to make sure like that your fingers aren't straight. Your fingers should be have, have a kind of a natural curve. And that basically allows for like once you actually do make contact with the target, rather than your fingers getting jammed and you get this type of thing going on, that if they have a curve, they will naturally collapse into the opponent. So if you're hitting the face or the eye and you miss slightly and it'll basically collapse and then you can basically do something else like with it or just draw it back and convert it into a fist. So this this way of doing it. Tan Bu Sao. Tan Bu Sao. Tan Fox Sao. Tan Fox Sao. So Fox Sao is the chopping out, let's like a hand where you're um, you're hitting, let's say, like with the side of the neck, like or maybe the clavicle, like or you're kind of clearing out, let's say, like another hand. Um, Sutsu is kind of this more kind of forward, like you're reaching, kind of like a chop, let's say, like you're kind of aiming for the esophagus. So you basically got something like this here, rather than foxau, let's say, like it's a kind of a much more open, open out, let's say, like a type of maneuver. So if I was doing like a tan, tan fox, bam, it's much open much more open but if I was doing like a tan sut so it would be this this type of like a maneuver and then like you know, you can do a lot of like a different things like go from there let's like oh why such jung hitting the throat let's like go in the the ziphoid process either this way or that way or let's like oh you could have let's like oh po pai jung which is the the butterfly fist hitting them this way so you could have something like a tan sut Coming to here, po pie, butterfly palm strike, going under the chin, as if I process our pancreas, liver, a lot of num like with those organs like along, along like here, spleen. Um, other let's say, like your kind of combinations like your, that you can have let's say, like your, like your like your ta like your fuck and like your da. So you could have this. This is like your coming out fox out. Da, so you could have here, fuck da, so basically fuck, fox out, and the, the punch like underneath it. Um, I mean, fox out can be used, let's say, like, as a kind of a clearing, like your kind of cleaving, let's say, like your hand. So, like, if you're in your pai zhong, like you're here, your, your ready stance, like the person like comes in, you can kind of move off, like, slightly, clear across their center, boom, 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 boom. Okay, lots of different things that you can kind of like do off that. Other things to kind of let's like a play with like the 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 juk one like by itself um, is like the practicing of let's like go 
this is a kind of a, an accuracy little like training little like that one like showed me so you're holding little like the juke one and you're basically aiming like to go through the center and then come down into a woo sow straight away and then come back up through the center once again and draw the hand back out without actually touching either side let's say, like of, of the the juke one so you have let's say, like this can be done with a number of the different like oh, strikes you could do it with bu sow well let's say we'll do it with um we'll do it with bu sow and like oh, um the regular like oh, gypsum toy so basically from here straight through the the, the wooden ring straight down like oh, to wu sow which is a kind of another um, like a kind of blocker controlling and then straight up like with the center like once again judge some choi and then draw the hand back without actually touching like with the, the 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 size like of the actual juke one and you you're, you're to do this let's say like a building up like a speed over time so like let's say for example if i was doing it with busau okay so i did touch like with the side of the ring like out there so it's all about let's say, like your training like with these particular skills like oh, um, over time so here so this is really kind of like you're teaching you like oh, all that kind of like your accuracy kind of skill the ability like you oh, to actually like oh, strike out or dart out like with a hand control let's say, like oh, another hand on the way back and then come back like with something else like oh, as, as another strike so that's a couple of like oh, the ideas like with the juk one um, and you want to have any questions like you can always reach out to me um, more than happy to answer have a nice evening